Just between us, are you still tinkering and testing on your live site? Well, you shouldn't be because that is exactly what staging is for. Staging is what we call an environment that we create where we can experiment and test our website before it goes live so that your active site is not affected. It allows you to fix things like bugs and plugin conflicts. Imagine being able to quickly push the changes you've made to your live site and never risk downtime. So if you've always wondered how or felt that it might be too complicated, this Monday Masterclass will be showing you how easy and fun it is to set up a staging environment for your WordPress website. So much so that we wouldn't be surprised if you enjoyed it so much you spent your time experimenting all night long like some mad scientist. You see, staging has several other advantages. For example, if you're using a local installation on your computer, it makes working on WordPress super fast because you won't be relying on your internet connection. So let's get started with staging. There are many ways to create your staging environment. Several major hosting platforms like WP Engine or SiteGround offer services that create an online staging environment where you can try stuff out on site before publishing it. You could also use a plugin such as WP Staging or WP Stagecoach to do the same thing. There are of course pros and cons to both. Just as there are pros and cons to creating an online staging environment versus a local environment. Today we'll be setting up a local staging environment to test our sites in the comfort of our personal computer by using a tool called Local by Flywheel. So far all we've done is gone to the Local by Flywheel website and of course we'll be adding the link in the show story below. We've downloaded their free application to our computer, we'll be using a Mac but Local also works on Windows. But first, we should clarify the main or practical difference between an online environment or staging site and a local environment. Let's say you're developing a new medicine or drug. The best place to develop it would be in a laboratory, where you can have complete control of the environment and the materials. Later, once we've got it working, it's ready to go to its first trials, where we test the drug on subjects. When it comes to website building, the local environment is our lab. It's where we have the highest level of control that we could hope for. The online environment is more like the trial phase. It's where the environment is less predictable and offers more realistic and practical variables. There has been a lot of discussion in the Elementor community about staging, and since some of you have asked how we do it, we thought we'd show you. Now, most of us here at Elementor use Local by Flywheel because it's simple to use, it's WordPress dedicated, and it's good and reliable. It is a little heavy, but our designers and website builders have no complaints so far. And that's because we like the fact that we can create both a local and online environment using the Flywheel's hosting features and easily move our data back and forth between them. Now, once it's downloaded, we'll install it, as you can see, it launches automatically and there's a nice introduction to the tool here. And there we are. Our local environment is set up. The next thing to do would be to upload our site. This is the site that we'll be replicating in our staging site. Most of you will probably recognize it as one of Elementor's latest templates, the portfolio site template. What we want to do now is back up this site, all of its pages, all the data, the plugins, the themes, everything, and zip it into a backup file. There are some great plugins out there, such as Updraft and Backup Buddy, that can do all of this, only we prefer to use BackWP Up. And we'll be posting a link to this too in the show notes below. We've already installed this plugin exactly the same way that you would any other plugin and then we needed to set up a job. To do this, we'll go to the Back WP Up tab and select Add New Job. In the General tab, we'll give our backup job a name. There's just a little too much info in the archive name string, so I'll just remove the hour, minute, and seconds. And we want our backup to be stored in a folder. Now, in the Schedule tab, we want to leave it set to Manually Only. 
Here in the database backup tab, you can use the default settings or read through the lists of options and decide what you want or don't want to back up. Now bear in mind, it would probably be best not to back up unnecessary data that will take up space and slow us down. The same goes for items that we select in the files tab. There's no point in backing up things like themes or plugins that we'll never use in this site, so we'll just mark them to be excluded from the backup. In the plugins tab, I'll just select the plugin backup to be stored in a zip file. And finally, in the folder tab, I'll keep the folder location, but as I don't want to have as many as 15 backup files stored there at a time, I'll limit it to two and click on save changes. With our new job created, we'll go to our jobs list and below our job, we'll select the option to run now and there it goes. Once we've finished creating a backup file, we'll go into our backup library and download it. Then we'll take the downloaded file, drag and drop it into the local window, click continue and watch as it automatically loads up our backup. Now we have a backup of our entire WordPress account installed on our local staging environment. One thing we would suggest is that you go to the SSL tab here and make sure that under certificate, the local bypass URL is trusted. We do this so that when we click on the admin button here, Local launches a tab in our browser with an exact copy of our WordPress account. The dashboard is exactly the same so that we can make changes, repairs, all within a kind of isolated environment that is still connected to the internet to allow us to update data, plugins and themes here first without risking anything happening to our live version of the site. Of course, we can add more sites and WordPress accounts to local using the add button here. We'll enter the name of our site. As you can see in the advanced settings, we have the option to change the local site name and path. But the reason we're taking the time to look at this right now is the blueprint option. It's very similar to Elementor's option to save and load designs as templates or global widgets it's a very helpful way to provide a basic setup with all the settings and plugins that we routinely use in an instant. And we can do that by alt clicking on the site that we would like to use as a blueprint, then select the save as blueprint option. We'll give our blueprint a name and then click the save as blueprint button. Now local creates a blueprint that we can use in the future. Once we've made our changes and updates in our staging environment, we need to upload the new, corrected version of our site and make it live. It's not at all a difficult procedure, but we felt that this subject deserved an entire masterclass dedicated to it. And that masterclass will be available next week. And that is how you set the staging environment locally. Now be sure to tune in next week when we'll be following up with a mini masterclass to show you how to move your tested site from the local environment to the live production site. We hope that having seen how simple it is to set up a staging environment for your WordPress sites, you'll start using it and gaining from all its advantages. Now, once you get used to working this way, it will become second nature you'll probably start nagging other colleagues that they should get on board and start using staging for their websites, a bit like we did. Speaking of which, don't forget to click the subscribe button and tap that bell to be sure that you never miss out on a masterclass like this one. And of course, that you don't miss out on the mini masterclass next week. As always, we hope that you've enjoyed this and found it interesting and inspiring. And of course, we'd appreciate any comments and criticism that you may have and any advice for other users. After all, our goal is to be the best at helping others excel at their craft. Thanks for watching. Cheers.